someone in an Amazon review wrote that for the money, these are stupid good, <laughs> meaning, of course, that the amount of features they come with and the new technology that Soundpeeds included in this little package is absolutely amazing and mind-blowing and really, really great. Soundpeeds Panda and myself are here today to tell you all about it, so stick around because you want to hear all those details. What's up, everybody? This is David M. The Polish Potato Soundpeeds people are absolutely restless. They release so many products and every new one they put to the market is better than the previous. Today, we're going to talk about why you may be reaching for your credit card and for your wallet and spending some of that hard earned money at the end of this video to get yourself a set of the uh, Air 4 Pro. So starting with sound quality as always. When I first picked this up, I thought this is just a repackaged Capsule 3 Pro. They look almost identical. Will they also sound identical? But no, guys, no, this is improved. It's refined, it's smoothed out, it's better balanced. Uh, Soundpeats Capsule 3 Pro were really, really good. I absolutely still love them and I have nostalgia towards them because they were the ones that uh, sort of let this channel breathe, find new highs, new viewers and take off into the wild, out of nowhere. Uh, so I like coming back to them and listening to them every now and then just because I have this special feeling about them. So when I saw this first, I'm like, wow, this looks almost identical to uh, Soundbeats Capsule 3 Pro, are they also going to sound identical? But this is a whole new level that we're talking about here. All the gaps that were there in Capsule 3 Pro have been taken care of, smoothed out, filled with sound. So now uh, you have even better performance. Uh, but also, also there is something about these uh, no previous Soundbeats earbuds had, which is truly lossless sound. And how do you actually make sure that you listen to um, lossless sound and not just a lower sound quality that they also, you know, will process for you and deliver? But how do you max it out? How do you actually listen to true lossless audio? So first of all, you have to make sure that the device you're using supports the latest technology that was uh, used for these earbuds and can transmit that lossless audio over the Bluetooth connection and second of all you have to use music that is encoded in lossless format and can be delivered in lossless format so unfortunately if you're a um, Spotify fan and all your music library and your playlists are on Spotify you're not going to be able to experience that not yet at least the rumored uh, Spotify Sue premium service is still maybe coming but we don't have that yet but other services like, for example, Apple Music. So uh, iPhone users have this advantage here right away that uh, they can switch to Apple Music, do have lost this audio. And uh, if you have a device compatible with the uh, latest technology used in Air 4 Pro and you're using music that is encoded in lossless format, that's when you open these up and you're going to be at the top level of performance and you're going to hear that difference and appreciate how great this sounds and when you do you may never want to go back on top of this already factory great tuning there is of course the extensive uh, equalizer that you can use to your heart's desire go up and down with those sliders all day long and fine tune them and refine and um, adjust them to what your preferences are the driver put in these 13 millimeter pretty flexible quite responsive to your changes on the equalizer so um, if you feel like they need some tuning some fine tuning you can do it um, and um, adjust them to your preferences this is really great set the way it comes from the factory but i totally understand that we all have different tastes and different preferences and you may want to uh, polish them up a little bit so go ahead and do it they will definitely react to those changes and give you what you're looking for in terms of sound quality I have no doubt about that 
So let's now talk about the ergonomics. And I think Soundpeats were very smart here because they applied the oldest rule that says if something works, don't try to fix it, don't try to change it. So Capsule 3 Pro had those wonderful ergonomics and so do these. They have almost identical shape for a reason because it works. You put them into your ears and you immediately feel like they just perfectly fall into place. They are a they become a part of your ear. They fill all the gaps and they provide good seal if you select the right uh, size of the ear tip for yourself. These just so naturally sit where they're supposed to be and they are super secure. So you can run, jump, you know, shake your head to the music, rock and roll all day long. There's no adjustment at all required or minimal adjustment that you will have to do. And uh, because they are lightweight, they don't bother you. They don't feel like uh, something sitting in your ears after a while. You feel like there's nothing there. Uh, but when you check on them, they're still sitting in the same place. So those are all signs of great ergonomics. And also, it's not difficult to figure out where to tap your finger when once you want to apply controls. So, um, um, you know, it doesn't doesn't take long to get used to operating them by tapping the, the earbuds and it's easy to figure out where to tap. There's no weirdness there. Uh, fantastic ergonomics, which is what I expected from Soundpeats at this point, but uh, I'm confirming that these work fantastic. I said fantastic way too many times. Uh, so marvelous, excellent, beautiful ergonomics. <laughs> There you go. Aesthetics are in the area of understated elegance. Soundpeats use their uh, color that they used before on many designs. It's this sort of, sort of brass brownie golden shade that uh, has a nice accent with the logo on top of the earbud here. The rest is a uh, matte finish with a glossy part that uh, the glossy part touches the inner ear so it doesn't bother me uh, a lot. There's a little um, um, chrome-ish like looking insert on the bottom of the earbud. Uh, very nice looking. There is no uh, chance of winning design awards for this but also um, they are not ugly in any way. They are just, as I said in the beginning, sort of going towards that understated elegance and achieving that goal with no effort. Uh, so they look good, uh, nothing to complain. Controls I already mentioned work very well. Uh, they react to the taps in just the right amount of sensitivity, I would say. Uh, one thing that um, definitely everybody reviewing them is going to mention is that uh, with the scheme of the taps, with the pattern of the taps, uh, you cannot go back to the previous song or you cannot restart the song that you're currently listening to. So that's one limitation. But volume control is there and everything else is there. Um, and uh, because of that little limitation, those are not my absolute favorite controls in the world. But also, again, I'm a person that doesn't like to complain, so I'm easy to satisfy and therefore I'm okay with these controls. I don't really find myself going to the, wanting to go to the previous song too much. It would be nice to have that option, at least programmable, um, but I'll live without it. App support is unchanged. It's still great, still a lot of presets that you can apply, still great equalizer. Um, and other functions that you can change. Uh, there's game mode that you can activate. You can also activate it by tapping left ear by three times. One of the most important features for me is that the app actually connects and sees the earbuds when you start it. So you can apply all the features and the changes and play with the settings. Um, and I didn't have a single time where it would left me wondering whether uh, you know it, it's going to connect to the earbuds or not. The connection was instant every single time, and that is absolutely wonderful because it doesn't always work like that with other brands. So again, Soundpeats, great job. I highly recommend your products because they work. 
big subject for many of you and I know this from the comments on my channel you guys pay a lot of attention to this feature and I can tell you ANC is really good on these but again make sure you pick the right size of the ear tip for yourself and you create that seal in your ear canal as much and as good as possible because this really matters in terms of ANC so where would I place this ANC is it as good as the leading brands on the market almost almost um it's uh, still it's still technics az80 for me that are the benchmark for this year that um i have yet to find better anc and uh sony xm5 uh those are the ones to compete with and i i uh, can proudly say that these sound beats air for pro come close they're not exactly the same but uh with the music around uh, between 50 and 75 percent of the volume on iphone 13 pro they eliminate so many noises from your environment that uh, you will be very comfortable wearing them listening to music and um, not worrying about distractions and the noise pollution around you so i can attest that this anc uh, works very very well and for most uh, situation, situations in your daily life, you should be very satisfied with its performance. Battery life and some technology features. Uh, six hours advertise is more or less consistent with my own tests. Uh, that's with ANC off. If you listen with ANC on all the time, it's going to be less. You get up to 26 hours uh, with the charges stored and the power stored inside the case so that's really really good it will take you through the longest day of your life and then some and um, one feature that i really like is that uh, they fully charge in 1.5 hours that's not too long of a time to wait they also support bluetooth 5.3 which gives you this highly desired multi-point connectivity and uh, you can have two devices connected at the same time, which should make your daily life a little easier in many different situations. One last feature that I want to mention before we go do our field test is that they support in-ear detection as well, which means they will stop your music when you take them out of your ears and restart it when you put them back in the ears. Personally, I love that. Not everybody cares about it so much. And if you don't, you can turn that off in the settings, which is another great point. And now it's finally time to get out there and test the six microphones included in these earbuds in real life conditions to figure out whether you guys would want them for your phone calls, whether they pass the test and deliver high enough quality for you to trust them and spend your hard earned money so that you can walk around all day long listening to music, but also answer a phone call when you maybe respond to your boss and tell them you're not coming to work today because you're so lost in your music. You just don't have time to work. All right, guys, here we are on this really nice sunny day. The moment a lot of you have been waiting for. I know you pay a lot of attention to how these earbuds do for phone calls what the microphone quality is and if the algorithm can resolve our voice well when we are making those phone calls in challenging auditory conditions. So David M's standard test is about to happen. Both windows are about halfway cracked in the car. Right now I'm idling, standing on the side of the road, which should be creating very easy problem to solve for these earbuds and the algorithm and the microphones, and you should be hearing my voice very well but of course the question is what happens when we start driving and get to 50 miles an hour and introduce some more noise coming into the cabin of this car right now you have passing cars occasionally but uh when the engine noise coming comes into play and the wind coming through the window comes into play everything changes dramatically and so do the conditions in real life during your daily commute, during your daily life, during your day when you want to use these earbuds, maybe you walk around the city, maybe you travel somewhere, maybe you're on public transportation and have to make an important phone call and you have to 
be sure that the person on the other end of that call can hear you well, because a lot may depend on your conversation with them and the information you have to give them, provide, answer their questions, etc. It's just important to have good quality when you make phone calls. So um, we're going to put this uh, Soundpeats Air 4 Pro against some top competition today. The first sample is now in, and the second one is going to come from no other than, of course, naturally, Soundpeats Capsule 3 Pro. I mentioned them so many times in this review that it would be a crime not to use them for this comparison. Um, you guys can have this way a great preview and great point of reference uh, of what the technology was about a year ago when Soundpeats Capsule 3 Pro were introduced and released to today when we have uh, Soundpeats Air 4 Pro. Did it improve? Is it better in any way? Is it worse? Is it the same? Um, maybe uh, it hasn't changed and maybe it changed a lot. Having these recordings right next to each other will let you have exact comparison and will let you make a decision uh, whether you want to go and spring for those new AirPods Air 4 Pro, have the lossless sound quality when you listen to music, but also excellent quality when you make the phone calls. Uh, the three microphones included in them per earbud should do a good job picking up uh, our voice, and then the rest is on the algorithm to resolve um, what we are saying and reject the background noise, wind noise, engine noise, and all other uh, unnecessary noise pollution elements that we don't need and keep what matters. Um, but that's not it, of course. We have two more very tough to beat competitors in this video today. And right now we're going to move on to them uh, for even more samples and more comparison that will let you pinpoint the location of the quality of sound Soundpeats Air 4 Pro deliver against everything else that's available. Next on our list of competitors for today's review is no other than Sony XM5. These are the earbuds that everybody's always using as a benchmark. Everybody's always using for all comparisons. They uh, have a lot of followers and fans out there. But the main uh, reason why I'm using them for this test is, of course, yes, you guys guessed it, the price. For one set of these earbuds, you can buy four, maybe five of the Soundbeats Air 4 Pro. Depending on the particular discount you can find at the, at the moment when you're shopping. And therefore, the question is, is the difference in quality when you're using microphones for phones with these earbuds so huge that it justifies this added expense? Or maybe you're completely fine buying Soundfeeds Air 4 Pro if you really care about phone call quality and it's maybe the most important feature for you because when you compare them in my test, you're actually going to see that the AirPods, that the Soundpeats Air 4 Pro do really, really well in this comparison. The last one for today is the Jabra Elite 10. And I picked them because they have proven their quality already in my test that I conducted before. And I know they will be hard to beat. And I want these AirPods Air 4 Pro to have difficult uh, job today, not going against something that sounds bad, that is easy to eat, but against something that will, mm, you know, uh, present a challenge, right? I was actually never a huge fan of Jabra somehow. I don't know. Their products just didn't jive with me until I picked up a copy of this Jabra Elite 10. They not only sound amazing, absolutely amazing for music, but they also uh, have wonderful ergonomics and you can hear it right now, they provide really great quality for phone calls. Um, so now that you guys have the samples of these four different earbuds, two from Soundpeats, Sony's, and the Jabra, you can go back and forth uh, on this part of the video of today's review and compare to your heart's desire, and maybe, maybe this will 
make you uh, pick one of these or it will be the last straw in your deciding decision process when you want to make a purchase. And if none of that happens, at least leave a comment and tell me what you think and what your opinions are based on this video and based on your own experience about the earbuds that we're uh, discussing today. But most of all, of course, the main subject of the review, which is the Soundpeach Air 4 Pro. Last but not least, guys, someone asked when did this part of the test go away and why you're not doing this anymore. So here we are. I wanted to show you what the difference would be if my voice was recorded in the same exact conditions with the car driving at 50 miles an hour, with the wind coming through the open windows, but using a proprietary great microphone like the built-in one in the Zoom H1N recorder. And you will definitely hear the difference and realize this is not the same what these earbuds are uh, capable of doing, but it's not supposed to be. Obviously, the closer the microphone is placed to the source of sound, uh, the easier it is for it to record our voice. So the task that these earbuds, all of them have to deal with is a lot more difficult than uh, what this microphone has to do. And of course, the technology and the microphones in themselves are of totally different kind, different level of quality. So we shouldn't expect the same results but I thought it would be good to add this part just for comparison. And we're back in the studio. I think you guys heard this for yourselves. Really, really good results against pretty tough competition. Uh, let me know in the comments if this convinces you that you should get these for yourselves. And if it doesn't, then what else would you like this Air 4 Pro from Soundpiece to have? What is that missing element that you uh, still need to make a decision. I'm very curious to hear from you. Thank you guys for your attention. I hope you liked this review and I hope it gave you enough details and information to make an educated decision if you want to add those sound pits to your arsenal or maybe this is your first truly wireless earbuds purchase, in which case I think you are making a good decision. Thank you guys. I will be back soon with another review. Till then.